Peter Marshall said this about Elijah. And as I read this, I want you to think about the United States of America. This is 1944. Something had been happening in the national life of Israel. The faith and vision of the founding fathers had faded. Moral decay had set in. There was confusion in the minds of the people. They were beginning to forget the principles that had made them a great nation. They had begun to love things more than principles. All around them, paganism flourished. Their neighbors were not without God. They had gods, many of them, convenient gods, gods that could be worshipped in ways that appealed to the lower nature. Materialism had a god, and his name was Baal. He offered to his devotees the things that human instincts crave. He was a god of the flesh. His priests encouraged the people to follow their natural inclinations. It was worship in indulgence, expressed in lust, and adored in selfishness. It had no inhibitions at all. It said, look after number one, be yourself, be natural. Self-expression and natural instincts was its program. A good time for everyone according to the flesh was its goal. No wonder it grew in popularity. Israel was a confused nation. They took a little bit of Jehovah and a little bit of Baal, and they became by degrees more and more broad-minded. Think of our nation. Was it not a free country? Who wanted to be old-fashioned? So morality became a relative thing. The old absolutes were regarded as far too intolerant. The natural moral standards were lowered. The worship of Baal and Jehovah got mixed all up together somehow. Now I suggest to you that America needs prophets today who will set before the nation the essential choices. A time like this demands strong minds, great hearts, true faith, and ready hands. Men whom the lust of office does not kill. Men whom the spoils of office cannot buy. Men who possess opinions and a will. Men who have honor. Men who will not lie. Men who can stand before a demagogue and damn his treacherous flatteries without winking. Tall men, sun-crowned, who live above the fog in public duty and in private thinking, while the rabble, with their thumb-worn creeds, their large professions, and their little deeds mingle in selfish pride. The old-time evangelists used to stretch, stress the tragedy of men and women individually going to hell. But we don't hear very much about hell anymore because they say people don't believe in hell. But you know it's strange. I notice they talk a lot about hell even though they say they don't believe in it. But today we are living in a time when enough individuals choosing to go to hell will pull the nation down to hell with them. The choices you make in moral and religious questions determine the way America will go. We badly need a prophet who will have the ear of America and who will say to our nation, if the Lord be God, follow him, but if it's Baal, follow him. We must decide and decide quickly who is chief, whom we will serve. Millions of people in America live in moral fogs. The issues are not clear to them. They cannot face the light that makes them black or white. They want grays and neutral tints. They move in a sort of spiritual twilight. Modified immorality on the basis of cleverness guides millions of people. Modified dishonesty within the letter of the law is the practice of millions more. Surely the time has come because the hour is late when we must decide and the choice before us is plain. The choice is this. Jehovah or Baal, Christ or chaos, conviction or compromise, discipline or disintegration. He ended the sermon with these words. And I was driving down the highway when I was listening to this, and I almost drove off the road. Here's how I ended the sermon. We need a prophet today, like Elijah, who will have the ear of America and say to her these words. How long, America, will you halt and stand between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal be God, follow him and go to hell. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Powerful sermon. Lord, our nation is desperate condition. The apostasy that you prophesied in the end time is rank in the churches today. Help each of us to be good Bereans. That we will test everything by your word and that we will have the courage to stand for the truth.
Yes. Help us to stand for absolute truth as your word reveals it, Lord. Yes. And we pray that we can be a light among those who are living in confusion, those who are living with one foot in the world and one foot in the church and don't know which way to go. Yes. Raise up leaders, Lord, who will speak with power and strength and with courage to call our nation to repentance. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Let's sing a song and then we'll be on our way.